Aloha, I hope you're all doing fine. I am delighted to spend a little bit of time with you. I have always wondered what my mom's job is. I mean, I know she's a mathematician, but it was never clear to me what she actually does. Most people I know think mathematics is difficult and boring, but she seems to really like it and have tons of fun. And it's not just her, her students too. Maybe the current COVID-19 situation can help us to understand what it is to be in her shoes a little bit. As for everyone else, the lives of researchers flipped upside down with the arrival of the coronavirus. They are also confined at home and do their work from there. In particular, they teach online all students at UH. But they are also researchers, and so what do they do? Well, they research. It is like solving a mystery when you try to understand why, when, and how. There are so many questions left unanswered. For how long will we have to quarantine? Will coronavirus peak in Hawaii? If yes, when? Why can't we go back to school yet? What will happen if tourists can come back to the islands as before? Why is my favorite restaurant closed? My mom and her students use math and science to discuss real world problems such as COVID-19 and help provide decision makers information they need. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that mathematicians could answer our questions. This is because the spread of viruses such as the COVID-19 is very complicated and can be analyzed using mathematics and computer science. My mom's teams work with urban planners on this. Some urban planners focus on specific issues such as disaster management. COVID-19 is the perfect example of data-driven research. Disaster management planner uses surveys and data from different organizations and institutes, such as the Department of Health, Federal Emergency Management Agency, Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. Data from the Hawaiian Islands provides a unique opportunity to assess the effectiveness of epidemic modeling techniques. For example, planners may use GIS to overlay a land map with population density that is affected by COVID-19. On the map, tourist attractions are specified in each zip code, which is then classified by popularity. Therefore, some zip codes are more probable to have more number of infected people which are shown in the dark red color. On the other hand, safer zip codes are shown in lighter colors most models that are being used are what is known as epidemiological models. They basically predict the number of people infected with a contagious illness in a population over time. Problem, they are very sensitive to some parameters. That means if you change a little bit of your assumptions, for instance, if you assume the virus is less contagious than it is, it predicts a dramatically different outcome. This is why it is so difficult to know when we should be able to go out and open schools, restaurants, etc. My mom's team has worked on a compartmentalized model. The key is to account for the fact that what happens tomorrow depends not only on today, but on the 14 last days since the disease has had an incubation phase and then reaches different stages with different probabilities. The curve on the graph is to the left of the real data. It makes sense. It is because there is a lag in being symptomatic and getting tested. The curve is also a bit above since not everyone is getting tested. And it is taking into account that travelers count went down in March and that most of our cases came from travelers. It is also taking into account the shelter in place order. The curve drops three days after it started, which makes sense again. Wow. The results of the model simulations help researchers make predictions about what will happen in the real system that is being studied in response to changing conditions. Hawaii finds itself in a unique position due to its isolated geographic location and a heavy dependence on tourism and hospitality sectors of the economy. Finding the right balance is extremely delicate. Should we let the tourists come? If yes should we have a mandatory quarantine? The computational model can help answer these difficult questions by making predictions on the outcome of various scenarios. 
Thank you for staying with me in this journey into the mathematical modeling and data science world. Emergency situations like COVID-19 highlight the importance of using and understanding data to produce mathematical models to help protect us and our ohana.